Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever time zone or whatever time frame you're in. So today we're doing a little taste test video. I've gotten several different things. Um, they're all mostly chip based or snack based, but it's stuff that I've not tried any of these yet. They're new flavors or flavors that I haven't tried and I wanted to try them for you guys and give you my thoughts. Now again, it'll be my thoughts, my taste buds, so you may still want to try these even afterwards. Who knows? But uh... I think I'm going to get ready to get started. We've got four items for you today. Um, and then later on I'm going to be doing a video where I'm going to be taste testing some sweet stuff. Some more desserty type things or, or dessert type snacks, sweet type snacks. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started for today. Um, get started with uh, what is Kroger brand kettle cooked backyard cheeseburger flavored potato chips That's a nice packaging nice looking cheeseburger here now traditionally I am a fan of kettle cooked chips I do really enjoy kettle cooked chips but I have not had the cheeseburger backyard cheeseburger I don't know if it's new per se but you know we're gonna open it up and find out it's got a strong smell coming out of it I don't know if it's a good smell or bad smell though I don't know. I don't know. That's a that's a strong taste. I'm gonna get one more, despite my better judgment, just to make sure. Still not getting like the first chip had so much flavor on it that it was almost overpowering, and then the second one I didn't taste any kind of flavor. I, I'd like to find something in the middle ground. So here's the thing, it's not bad, but I don't really taste cheeseburger. It doesn't taste like a cheeseburger. It tastes like a chip with some kind of seasoning on it. Um, that last one I had was very pickly, um, and I've had the kettle cooked pickle chips and it kind of just tastes like that. I'm not really tasting cheeseburger. Again, maybe that's just me. I'll give it one more try. Again, not bad. It's not really. It kind of just, like that one there just tasted like a kettle cook chip. Like just a plain kettle cook chip. So like, a couple of them had like a real oniony, pickly taste, like a real sweet kind of pickle onion taste. And then the others didn't taste like they had any seasoning on them at all. But it's a good chip. Just I don't really taste the cheeseburger. Seasoned to taste like a cheeseburger. Yeah. It's a good chip. Just doesn't hate. I don't get cheeseburger from it. All right. Next up on the list, we're going to move right from one chip into another. We're going with the limited time flavor Lay's Game Day Chili. Now, I'm actually kind of excited about this one. Um, I've heard a lot about it, but the first time we've seen it in stores was this week in our stores. Um, let's see what happens. Oh, it smells good. That's a good smell. And these look very seasoned. Oh, here's a nice chip there. You can see that there. Mmm. Mm. Ooh. Got a little bit of heat on the end of it. Let me show you. But it was good. That's good. It's got like, it does taste like chili. Wow. I don't know necessarily what game day chili necessarily is. I'm not 
a big sports guy, not that you could tell by my physique, but I, uh, I do love chili. I love a nice hot bowl of chili, like, you know, especially around wintertime. Um, it's, it's just starting January here, and, uh, or I guess everywhere, but it's January here, and so, uh, it's kind of cold out. It's a good time for a nice hot bowl of chili, and this taste like chili. It's got a weird kind of aftertaste like chili. All right, there. Them are some good chips. I hope Lay's decides to take that from limited time to full time. I, I like that. All right. I'm going to reset my palate here with some water. Okay, we got two more items to burn through here. I'm going to go with the next sort of chip item. It's Mike Sells Pepperoni Pizza Flavored Puff Corn. Now, I'm a big puff corn guy, guys. Let me just tell you. I like popcorn, but kernels and stuff always wreak havoc on my teeth and my gums and stuff. So, it's a beautiful thing about puff corn is it's soft. There's no kernels. It's just kind of artificially, but in a good way. Now, traditionally, you know, the cheese puff corn is the best. And then I've had the butter. Butter's all right. I did not know they made a pizza puff corn. I don't know if it's new or if I just didn't know that it existed, but. Whoa. It has a strong pizza smell. Somebody that worked in an Italian restaurant for three or four months, that's got a strong smell. All right. Try one of these bad boys. A couple of them. If I could. I like it. It's, hmm. Again, it's not bad. Not the best thing ever, but it's not bad. Um, I like it pretty good. I like it pretty good. I do love puff corn. I love the soft melt in your mouth texture. Uh, the flavor, again, is a bit strong, I guess. It's, that pizza sauce flavor is very strong, which is not such a bad thing if you like pizza, I guess. All right, next up, and last for today, this I got, me and the wife got when we was at Costco's uh, visiting my parents. This is Europe Greasen, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Entertaining Collection European Pastry Sticks, 24% butter, 16 individual buttered pastry layers per stick. Sea salt, gouda cheese, sea salt, and black pepper. Three individually wrapped trays. So here's what they look like on the box. Enjoy these crisp buttery pastry sticks anytime on their own or with your favorite dip. Let's see here. I didn't. Got it. Okay. So, these come in the trays. I don't necessarily think I want to open all of these right at once. So, they do have them labeled. They have plain sea salt, gouda cheese, and then the sea salt and pepper. So, it's kind of nice. I think, I think for today, I'm going to try the Gouda cheese, because I'm a fan of Gouda. I do like sea salt and pepper, but I think I'm going to save those. Um, that way they'll stay nice and preserved inside those trays for the wife and I to have with a nice pasta dinner. Nice Italian on I like the packaging, though. It's very 
fancy feeling. It's also very hard to open. <laughs> Ooh, look what is here. Uh, it comes in like little pretzel stick things, I guess. Ooh, nice tray, nice deep tray too. You get a lot. Jeez, and you get three of these? That ain't bad. All right, here we go. Mm, smells really good. If any of you like like the smell of fresh baked bread or fresh bakery smell, that's what it kind of smells like. Oh, it smells really good. Okay, that's good. That is really good. It's I don't I don't necessarily understand the workings of this, but again, I've never had European pastry sticks, but man, that's pretty good. It tastes like this weird crossover between I guess like a crunchy bread stick, like you know in um. If you get a big bag of Chex Mix or something, they usually have like the little wide breadstick things like this. Well, it's not like this, but it's like breadstick things in there. It's like that, but with so much more flavor. It's got flavor of fresh baked bread in a stick, in like a crunchy, almost pretzel top bot. It's amazing. I can see, I mean, this is already great just on its own, but I can definitely see what they're saying. Like if you had like marinara dip or some kind of ch cheese dip or something or like some kind of pasta to eat this with would be amazing uh, so here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and say this at number one this was my favorite thing by far at number two spot is going to be the game day chili Number three will be the Max Cells pepperoni pizza. And then number four will be the Kettle Cooked Cheeseburger Chips. So that'll be my ranking out of the ones I had today. European breadsticks, pastry sticks, game day chili, pizza puff corn, and backyard cheeseburger kettle cooked chips. So thanks for joining me. It's been great. It's always, I like to eat. It's good, always fun. Uh, be sure to tune in, uh, like, comment, subscribe down below. Let us know if you want to see more of these videos, if different type of video, any questions you may have or comments. And uh, we'll try to get a uh, dessert-based one out to you guys soon.